Hi, I'm Don Cottom with 323 Link. I'm here with Brad Cricket today, and we're going to give you a quick demonstration of our cloud services model um, that includes several, uh, a variety of services from video conferencing from any device. Um, that includes video conference systems, handhelds, PCs, on multi multi multitude of different platforms as well, but I'll let Brad show you some of that. Um, but we also have the ability to easily capture the event, so we record it digitally. We automatically can distribute that content out to different websites um, or different places uh, for later consumption, um, as well as um, we can live broadcast the event different portals and interfaces like Salesforce.com or uh, SharePoint where you can log in with a set of credentials and you can watch the meeting itself going on as well. So we're going to give you a quick demo of all of these different technologies all coming together. The key to our solution is to keep these things very simple. And so we're going to show you a combination of these different platforms and how they work. But first of all, uh, we're capturing right now what we call our telepresence mode. And this is where we've actually taken the conference room. This conference room seats about 20 people. And we've actually taken this side of the conference table with two cameras in a single panoramic, which, Brad, if you can kind of show with an extension of your arm, you can see that he and I are sitting here side by side. We're able to communicate. And we, as the presenter, are able to push our visual to all the end users who are watching the live stream. We're also capturing in that lower quadrant the video conference um, which actually right now is showing four different mobile devices that are also connected into the call that we're about to show you. So that's what's going on with this layout. Let me go ahead and drop out of that. And now you can see that actually what's in the bottom quadrant is my Mac, which is actually one of the participants in the call. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch over to a view so that you guys can see some of these different mobile devices that are actually in this call. We're also going to show you some of the different layout options we have as well. So let me switch over to the proper camera. And so, Brad, if you could go ahead and show the folks uh, some of the different uh, devices that are connected, then we'll show some of the layouts. Absolutely. So I'm going to switch over to a closer view. So the first thing that we're connected on is the video conference device. This is actually a life-size video conference system, and this is our large display in the room. So obviously any room video conference system can also communicate and be captured and live streamed in this call as well. So now we'll move over to some of Brad's devices. And so what I've got here is a Windows 8 Ultrabook and uh, we're connected in this via a web browser. Um, and so you can connect into this video call via multiple different uh, types of medium, whether it's a web browser or whether it's a functionality like Skype um, or System Jabber or Blink um, and, and a multitude of others. So this is just one example of connected to a browser. Uh, but next, let me show you what it looks like on an iPad. And so this is the view of the iPad 2 um, connected via Skype. Uh, I've got a couple other devices connected via Skype as well, but just wanted to show this functionality on the iPad. And so let me show you what an Android device looks like. And so this is an Android phone uh, connected via Skype as well uh, under a different username, but, uh, you know, Think of this as, uh, you know, a remote employee, remote worker, uh, wanted to connect out in the field, whether it's, uh, you know, at a coffee shop, connected via Wi-Fi or via cellular signal, um, supported on Android and iOS as well. Um, let me show you one more mobile platform here. And this is going to be the iPhone 5. And so, as you can see, uh, you know, functionality basically the same across all different mediums, whether you're connected via a browser or Skype or doesn't really matter what platform you're on, uh, the video conference is going to look the same. Uh, one thing I will point out, though, is that uh, your video uh, and audio quality are really dependent upon the connection you have uh, up to the Internet. So uh, if you're connected on Wi-Fi uh, or 4G LTE, you're going to have a you know, very, very strong signal. 
on 3G, you're probably going to you're probably going to be fine. Um, but if you drop down to Edge, you may just be on audio only. So these are the mobile devices that we wanted to show. Um, and I think the other thing is I want to show you some of the different layouts as well. So let me let me show you that. Go back into my Skype call and full screen. So again, we're have the ability to capture that video conference, stream that video conference. Um, and this is obviously just my, my PC being displayed again on my Mac. Yep, and so as the moderator, the moderator of the call, I can take and choose what layout I want to uh, push out to the uh, multiple participants. And I am going to attempt just to have just the one participant here. So this is the, the, the single participant view. Um, right, can you move that device so they can see it actually moving around? Or that's one of your phones actually on the table there. Yeah, let's see if, uh, if I can jump back into the call here. So, it's actually the other, it looks like. This one? Okay. There we go. There it is. So, what this view will do is it will give the active participant, uh, whoever is speaking, the full screen of the video. So, that's just one of the viewpoints that you can have. Uh, let me actually jump over to a different view. And what this is going to be is the active presenter in the top of the window and the rest of the participants in the uh, bottom quadrant. So as you can see in this view here, um, you're able to see the active, uh, the active speaker in the top portion and then the other participants in the bottom. So if someone else was to speak up, their view would then get switched up to the top quadrant. And then the last view that we can actually have here is uh, have everyone on uh, one screen. So let me push that out to all of the images here. So uh, as you can see, we've got the three different uh, angles here. Uh, if we had 12, you would see all 12 participants in that call. So. Uh, to, you can have up to 25 folks in one video call and that, you know, one of those could be a codec with, you know, 25 people in it just as the one connection. So that's kind of an overview of the mobile devices and the different layouts that we, we can have here. Um, and with that, I will turn it back over to Don. Absolutely. So the, the thing to keep in mind about this whole, this whole concept, it's really what we think of as the conference room of the future. Um, it's a conference room that will allow you to connect to anybody on any device to be able to stream to thousands if necessary and be able to record any important events or take any minutes that happen in that conference room. And what's really great is, again, we make these things very easy and simple to deal with. First of all, the way that you would capture or record your events or stream your events is we simply use a simple USB thumb drive. And whenever you want to start a recording or a live broadcast or both, you'd simply plug that key in. It's just that simple. And so I'm actually, we're streaming this event right now, and I want to show you a couple of demo examples of what we're doing here. So first of all, this is actually our website, and uh, as you can see, we're broadcasting live to our website right now, and um, we're able to capture uh, our telepresence look and our PC image all in full HD. Again, what's great about this is it doesn't have all the quirkiness and issues that you can have with traditional data conferencing software that can cause a lot of problems, especially with larger groups. This allows us to one-way broadcast the event. The end users can then chat back questions to a moderator here, and we can ask the uh, primary presenter um, those questions remotely. So it gives us the ability to a very low-cost way with literally high-quality results to bring in thousands or hundreds of people depending on what your requirements are. Also, this is being captured live as well. Let me show you the other means of streaming that we're doing here. I've actually got, we can uh, send out an icon or a launch button to people who can watch it on the local area networks or in your uh, infrastructure of your corporate network. And this is actually me watching it in a local player. And so this device by itself, our platform called Educast, can broadcast up to 700 users and to remote services and to our cloud services all at the same time. And so you can see the quality of this, and I'm kind of seeing the endless capture of what we're doing here, but at the end of the day, you can see that's all a nice full motion video. 
All right, let's pause that. Um, so the next thing I want to get to here is I want to show you guys what the on-demand content looks like. Um, so let me go ahead and go to, uh, here's an item, or some items we recorded earlier, and our system produces multiple versions. It produces web-based versions. It pro pro provides you with mobile versions automatically, as well as Flash and HTML5 compatible. Um, and then, so recordings we did even earlier today, I'll go just launch one of these. And uh, again, this is on-demand content that's been posted and can be pushed directly out to end users where they can watch it from any mobile device. And I also will have Brad here show you uh, playback on a iPad. So you can see, here's a capture of that video call. We've got what we're doing as the primary presenters in our room, and that's all been captured for on-demand. So I'll go ahead and pause that. And I'm gonna go ahead and switch over my view again where we can look at that iPad. And so, Brad, you want to go ahead and show the iPad playing back? Yeah, absolutely. And so this, this playback is uh, viewable on any mobile device. Uh, I could be playing the same video from my iPhone or Android uh, or, or Windows 8 as well. So uh, what you're seeing here is a couple different camera angles and a whiteboard. Um, and so, Don, if you, if you would just kind of take us through what these different quadrants are real quick. So what we've got, uh, the primary camera that I'm in in, in this actual capture uh, that's a regular camera, like one of the cameras we're using here. The second camera over is actually one of our video conference systems. And we also have a document camera, and then my PC is down below. Um, and that actually is a smart board interface. So this allows us to capture all the different peripherals in your conference room without all the complexity of you moving cameras around and having to think about it. You simply plug in a key to start, you remove a key to stop, that records and live broadcasts whatever your event is. So lastly, um, what I'd really like to say is that the primary functionality of this platform is to keep it really, really simple. Um, and what it comes down to is it's really all about giving you an easy platform to have intercommunications in that conference room of the future over any network with any device, be able to watch the content later on any platform, any device. Uh, and so that's really the concept of the, cl the, the classroom and of the conference room of the future. Well, thank you for checking out the Educast platform and our cloud services. Um, if you need additional information, you can contact our sales team at 866-323-3269. Uh, Thanks again for checking out our platform, and we look forward to talking to you in the near, very near future. So, Brad, if you go ahead and pull that key. Will do. And it's just that easy to stop our meeting and our capture.